Good day to all of you. Hope all of you are staying safe, healthy and happy at your homes during these holidays. Through this channel today, I'm not going to discuss any physics topic or any math tricks which we used to discuss. But instead, I would like to talk about one important skill set which you all have to possess, which is nothing but time management. As you know, time management is very essential in every aspect of our life. But today I'm going to talk in terms of students life how can time management will make you a more successful student i thought this is the right time to talk about time management because now your holidays are starting you're going to have one and a half months of holidays by now itself many of you might be having a feeling that oh my god so much of works has been poured on us and uh, we won't be able to get time to enjoy these holidays we won't be able to time we won't be able to get time to complete all the tasks which is given by the teachers in the form of completing the notes homeworks assignments projects and lot more right but with little extra effort of making a proper schedule i hope you all will be able to accomplish these tasks in an easier way so before making a proper schedule for the for completing the holiday homeworks and the tasks to be completed during these holidays first thing let me tell you is to remove a question from your mind that whether to study or not there is no scope for this question <laughs> if you like it or not like it i will tell you one thing as a student your primary business is to study so there is no point in asking the question whether to study or not to study so remove this question some way or the other you have to study so make some steps which will ease your process of studying or learning okay so before i give you some tips on how to increase your time management skill let's have a self assessment where is your position in managing your time whether you are very excellent at it good at it or you are lacking some time management skill or not for that all of you take a small piece of paper and pen i'm going to give you 12 statements from these 12 statements you can write it down whether you agree to my statements or you disagree you don't have to write the statements you just can write the number number 1 with my statement whether you agree or not the first statement of mine is going like this i tend to be on time for classes and appointments whether you agree or disagree please write number 1 and write there agree if you agree to it or you can write it as disagree i set aside time to study for exams all these statements agreement or disagreement has to be an honest response of yours then only you will be able to assess yourself correctly i set aside time to study for exams is my second statement i set aside time to study or read any textbook even if i do not have any exams to prepare for i regularly take part in social activities despite the fact that i have studying to do i usually cram for exams i usually feel prepared on the day of exams with everything i have to do i find it hard to complete assignments and projects on time some of you might be feeling so right I do not experience burnout any time between midterm and final exams. I write down the things that I need to do. I have enough time to get done what I need to, but I still find it hard to finish everything. I hardly ever feel pressure to get things done. And my last statement is this: dealing with extenuating circumstances such as attending a party, getting extra tutoring, or watching a movie seriously disrupts daily or weekly routine of mine. Hope all of you might have written your agreement or disagreement to these twelve statements. If so, it's the time to evaluate. You can evaluate yourself. I'm going to give you the answer key. That is for statements one, two, three, six, eight, nine, and eleven. if you had written agree then give one point each if you had written disagree then leave it for the next set of statements like 4 5 7 10 and 12 if you have written disagree which means you are getting one score one point 
okay if you had written disagree then one point if you had written agree then no point so you might have ticked your proper points and now it's the time to count the total how much is the total score you have scored individually based on the score if your score is between 9 and 12 well and good congratulations that you are very good at managing your time if your score is between 5 and 8 and which means you're doing something great something right but there is some scope for improvement still by a little bit of polish you will be able to excel in managing your time now if your score is between one and four it's an alarming situation you have to spend extra time working on your skill otherwise these category of students normally complain after the exams like i did not get time to study just because i was given with a lot of written work just because i was given with a lot of assignments just because i was given with projects to do every other student in your class is doing so right so every other student is having 24 hours a day so what you lack is you might be lacking in planning you might be lacking in managing your time and i'm sure after watching this video whether you are falling in category one two or three you all will be able to improve your time management skill and hope i will be able to help you in manage your time I will give you some tips to enhance your time management skill. First thing before you make any schedule is assess your daily routine. Every day all of you are having 24 hours a day regardless of a student or any other person, right? Everybody is having 24 hours a day. So first task of yours is to calculate the amount of time you spend on various activities and I'm going to classify all your activities day-to-day -day activities into three categories academic activities social activities and personal activities academic activities is everything which is related to your studies whether you're writing your homework writing your record making your project uh, doing your um, classwork notebook attending any extra tutoring watching any academic related videos all these will be academic activities second category is social activities your family time time with friends your video gaming time your social networking time all these together will be counted in social activities and your personal activities you have to have a lot of personal activities to do which starts with you know you have to sleep for some time uh, you will spend some time to eat at regular intervals of time so how much in total on an average every day how much time you're taking for these your hygiene activities which include your brushing your um, bathing and all right so all these will be coming under the category of personal activities so all your day-to-day -day activities you divide into three categories and write down the average time you are going to take every day and see whether there is a balance between these three or not whether any of these category is consuming most of your time means you have to make some adjustments and make yourself understand that you are going in a wrong way that wherever there is a possibility of getting some time from the area where you are spending more time and channelize to do the other activities which you are spending less time so after writing it down you will be able to analyze whether you're going in a proper way or not now to manage your time as students it is always better that you have planned weekly schedules in a week day by day what are the activities you are going to do when something is written in a paper it is always better that you will not forget right so i will help you how to make a weekly schedule weekly study schedule all of you those who are watching this video please try to make a weekly schedule and see whether your activities the study time is improved or not whether you are able to do well in studies or not so making a weekly study plan is one of the easiest way of managing your time while making your weekly schedule what are the things to be noted the first thing is when you are making the schedule 
write down the fixed commitments first. Fixed commitments means you might have to attend some classes. Suppose you're going for extra coaching classes. You know that these many days in a week, these from this time to this time, I have to attend that class. That you cannot fluctuate, right? And sometimes you will be fixing up time to write the homework. It is better fix up time to write the homework so that that time is completely dedicated to, to write the homework. So first you write down all your fixed commitments. Then you should see that there is a balance between all the three categories. See, when you're making a weekly schedule, a plan, in the planning, in addition to the academic activities you're doing, include all the other two that is your social timing your personal activities everything that is sunday from this time to this time i'm going to sleep uh, from this time i will wake up and i'm going to take bath for this much time i will be eating breakfast from this time to this time so all the activities has to be included in the written schedule that is better way of making a schedule instead of just writing the study timetable write everything what are what all things are you are going to do in that day of the week. Allow some flexibility. See, you have made a schedule, but don't penalize yourself to follow that strict schedule. Sometimes, see for example, you have fixed from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. I'm going to write my homework. But on a fine day, you didn't feel like doing the homework. You feel so exhausted. You want to talk to your friend and you spoke to your friend on that time. But you might have assigned some social time on that day so reduce that time and complete your homework on that particular time instead of penalizing yourself that okay i had written from 10 to 11 i have to do homework so even if i don't feel like doing i have to do it don't have that feeling in your mind give some flexibility but make sure that you complete that task also on a later time last point is very much more important it is see once you made a weekly plan planning is easier part but once you start executing then only practical difficulties will come come in right mm -hmm. so when you are executing a plan for a week you will come across some practical difficulties you are not able to follow this it is having this difficulty it is having that difficulty you will be coming across while you execute so in that week you write it down what are the difficulties you come across and on the weekend, you allot 20 minutes time completely to update and rearrange your schedule. It is not that you have made one weekly schedule, you have to strictly follow it till the rest of the six weeks. Not like that. After co completing one week's time with the schedule, if you feel, if you find that some problems are happening, do some updation and make the rearrangements in the schedule and then follow that particular schedule in the next week. Now, I will tell you, now you might be wondering, oh, it's holidays just started only, why should we do it? But it is always better when you do something, start early so that your task will be completed sooner. You will be getting some relaxation after completing that, right? So it is always better instead of postponing the things, start right away. I would recommend after watching this video, right after watching this video, you start counting the time taken for all your three different categories of activities and start preparing a schedule. Okay, don't postpone any of the things to a later time. Start early and work steadily. Work steadily means do little things, but in a steady manner. Instead of trying to do everything together at once, make it into small bunches and do it in a steady way. I will recommend instead of completing one big task at a time, make it into smaller tasks. This way of doing will help you to have that pleasure of accomplishing the task. I will give you an example. For class 12 students, I had given you a topic to, as a holiday homework, to write the project report and make a project if possible on your physics topic instead of keeping making a project is one day's task of mine instead of that you split thus that task into smaller smaller tasks for example project making can have can be split into four phases it is just an example only you can have your own flexibilities 
one is choosing the topic that is the first task you have to choose a topic you have to choose your partner with whom you are going to do the project so that is one phase of the task second phase is after you selected the topic do some research on the topic what are the what all are the materials required for making this project how can we get it what are the necessary skills i have to have to make this project so do some research work and then third phase is write the rough draft after writing the rough draft you can make a fair copy so you are splitting the task of project making into four phases one great advantage of this is while doing this after completing each phase you will be having the pleasure of accomplishing the task that after you selected the topic and after you tied up with one of your friends to be partner of your project okay one phase has been done so celebrate yourself after completing each of the small small tasks so that you will be feeling encouraged to do the next task so everything it is not only about project making when you want to write the homework split that also into some um, small small groups and once you completed one group suppose your um, question bank is there that you have to answer some questions um, either you can split into chapter wise after completing one chapter that is your one of your task you completed one task celebrate accomplish enjoy the feeling of accomplishment okay so that is very important so while preparing the schedule make instead of making big task make it into small small task and after you complete every task have that feeling of enjoyment so that you will feel encouraged to do much more task what are the advantages of making weekly schedule why should we spend time on making the schedule are we getting any advantages out of making this definitely yes one thing one thing is writing things on a paper prevents you from forgetting you know that okay these many things i have to do so when you are writing after completing that particular uh, event put a tick mark so that you have a checklist with you that you have to do all these things secondly it is hard to put off or ignore what you have written down concretely on a paper you can't say that okay, oh i forgot this that is one another advantage a task list is time management tool in that you can see in the schedule what all things you have to do and after one week or two weeks you have to put tick mark after completing each then you have a relaxation feeling okay i have completed these many events okay i have got only this much to do so that feeling of relaxation also will come and you know how much you have left with if you want to increase your time of writing or when once it is written in a scheduled format you will have some idea about how much has been completed how much has been left with a formal task list on paper used in conjunction with a planned weekly or monthly schedule but i prefer you have to do in a weekly manner so that it is it is a better way of doing especially when you are planning something to study i think i don't have to tell you this you yourself might be able to identify what are the common time zappers you have to work on it to reduce how much ever is possible to reduce the time consumption on these areas of facebook instagram tiktok all these social medias email texting in whatsapp and all talking to your friends please do talk with your friends but my by not consuming majority of your time video games unavoidable right do it but don't get addicted to it don't spend most of your time doing it so and there will be some unknown factors too you might be there dreaming sitting in front of book so all these unknown factors also will be there so identify what are the common time consuming factors of yours and try to limit the time consumption identify your your own problems your own weaknesses and then only you will be able to overcome it i would like to summarize today's talk like this time management is a skill every skill set has to be used then only you will be able to master that skill right unless you use it you will not be able to learn it so 
time management is a skill you have to use it then only you will be able to learn time management use a weekly or monthly schedule to organize your time and stick to it stick to it is very very important write down what you need to do and what you want to do plan when to begin i told you my recommendation is start right away what is well begun is half done as everybody knows hope after watching this video you got some motivation to manage your time to make some schedule i hope you will be giving me the feedback on this so that i could get the satisfaction that i could make some difference in your study routine thank you for watching once again have a great day to all of you